time for the only radio show of its kind. Auctioneers of antiques, collectors of cool, veterans of vintage. It's the Donnelly Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. For the next hour, enjoy great information about buying and selling antiques and collectibles and some interesting stories. Now, the Donnelly Auctions Hour. Welcome to the Donnelly Auctions Hour. Thank you for joining us. We are back. Have you ever wondered if your guns or military items are worth anything today? What about Grandpa's World War II helmet or that flight jacket in the attic? What about the importance of provenance? Is now a good time to sell? Hi, I'm Susan, co-owner of Donley Auctions in Union, Illinois. I'm here today with my business and life partner, Randy Donley, and we are going to answer many of those questions for you today. Hi, Randy. Hey, Susan. You know, I, I can't believe it's been a week already since we've been on the air. and the Time really flies by. That's right. We did take a little bit of, of a break. We went on vacation, and the only thing we lost was Randy's voice. <laughs> and the life of an auctioneer, right? You bet. Uh, it, it's tough to keep your, uh, uh, your voice in check uh, when you do what we do. So uh, what are we going to talk about today, Susan? What are we going to start with? We're going to talk about a little bit of what we discussed last week. And that was, okay, we've got stuff. What are the next steps? Um, how do I get this stuff consigned? So let's recap for everybody real quick on how to consign an item to auction. And then we're going to flow into some other great information about provenance and what you have in your house. And now, when you say like we've got stuff, you mean our audience. Our audience. We, we've got stuff. They've got stuff. They've got stuff. That's right. right. That's right. So what do you do when you have something that's worth, you know, a uh, million dollars, right? Well, well, first of all, you call us. Yeah, first we're the first. You we should be on your, We should yeah. be on your speed dial. <laughs> and... Just tell us what you have. We want to keep it simple. This is not a long, drawn-out process. We mainly just want to know, what do you have? And you, Randy, and our other team of experts will be able to give you an honest valuation of what you have. We'll tell you like it is. You bet. You know, and and I say this all the time. So often people don't want to hear that because uh, they don't want the bad news. Right. Um, But you you really need to know what you have. And um, the first thing is determining the value. Uh, so we need a couple photographs sent to us. Um, very easy. You can email us, uh, you know, at DonleyAuctions at Outlook.com or go to the website at DonleyAuctions.com and uh, complete the request form there. That's right. And just give us a day or two. We have several coming in. We want to divvy it up amongst the people who can answer the questions the best. And again, we'll give you an honest and fair valuation of your items. And then we will discuss next steps whether or not we're going to come pick it up for you or if you're in the neighborhood, if you're going to swing by and drop it off. So, again, it's just that easy. We know it can be a daunting task to clear out your house, your basement, or even just downsize a bit. How about even putting a firearm in your car? What the heck? Most people don't even want to do that. Well, they shouldn't. I'm, they shouldn't. And we're part, going to talk we'll, about that today, yep, too. We'll talk about complying with all the laws and regulations That's and right. so on and so forth. But first, I want to back up, Susan. Uh, last week, we had people calling us saying, um, gee, I had a hard time finding you. I don't know how to spell Donnelly. That's right. Um, so uh, give it to us. Donnelly. How do you think it's spelled? It's D-O-N-L-E-Y. Right. There's so, people putting double N's, double L's in it, and they couldn't find us. Right. So thank you to our um, callers and some feedback we received on the last couple episodes we did. It's Donley, D-O-N-L-E-Y. And we will be coming up with a jingle for that sometime soon if anyone has any suggestions. Let's get a song going so we can remember it. So Anyway, so Donley Auctions, we're here to help you. Get the items consigned consigned to us. Again, very simple process. Let's get back to talking about firearms and military. That's going to be our main focus today, Randy. Tell us a little bit about what's coming up in February. Well, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, and people uh, listening right now should know that uh, in our next segment, we are going to have uh, our firearms expert on with us, uh, Neil right. Leaders. Um, so uh, make sure you, you stay focused with us. But uh, what I want to mention is that uh, coming up, in February would be our next major auction, February 18th and 19th. We do have our firearms and military uh, memorabilia auctions, which is a two-day uh, event. We have an auction uh, 
uh, of over 400 handguns and long guns, ammunition, gun accessories. Uh, that's on Saturday, February 18th. And then follow it up the very next day on February 19th on Sunday. Uh, the auction includes military relics such as helmets, uniforms, insignia, edged weapons. But here's why we're, I'm mentioning it now. I mean, it sounds a long way off, but in auction world, it's a finger snap. There's still time to consign. If you want to call us um, and get things in the next auction, uh, give us a call at uh, 815 923 7000. And um, call us uh, anytime, uh, and we'll, uh, um, we'll come out and take a look and see what you have. That's right. You can still get in for the February auction, but I also believe we will be holding another firearm and military auction in the next couple of months. So we do these pretty frequent, maybe four times a year. At least four times so, a year. But yeah. now is the time uh, to get going on that. We still have some openings left for the February 18th and 19th auction. Randy. I would love to hear anything interesting coming up in the auction you want to talk about real quick. Well, we've got all kinds of cool stuff, really. I I mean, uh, I I want to point out, uh, it's not going to be in this auction, but the following one. Um, uh, We we picked up a flight bag from a lady uh, whose husband uh, was in World War II. (laughs) Not her husband, I apologize. Her father, uh, scratch that, her father was in World War II, and he was an artist who did nose art on aircraft. Uh, I, I mean, you've probably seen all that wonderful what's referred to as nose art on airplanes. Well, her father was the man that did all that painting. So imagine what his flight bag looked like, hand-painted to death. It's just fabulous. And uh, even flight jackets were painted by the same artists who did this kind of nose art. And these things today are exceedingly valuable, not just because of the fact that they're a war trophy, uh, but also because of fabulous artwork that was done on it. Well, I guess that's where we need to talk a little bit about provenance. Well, yeah, I'm glad you bring that up. Uh, It is a word that we toss around a lot. I'm not sure people really understand the definition of that. And how important it is. And how important it is at auction. I I just had a, a gentleman... Uh, who has a, a flag that his father actually took down off the the buildings at Dachau. Now, imagine how historic that is. Right. And, and I said, wow. I said, uh, uh, what kind of provenance do you have with that? And he said, well, my, my dad. He said, my dad took it down. I said, well, did he ever write a letter? Did he have any photos of him standing at Dachau uh, or any of these things? And... He does not, but he is still the first, you know, the first generation. It's his family. And I said, you have to start the Providence now. It's never too late. All you have to do is write a letter and, and get it uh, notarized also. But but just type up what your father said, who your father was, um, and everything that you know over the years about Uh, how your father acquired this rare and historic item. Because otherwise, a flag is a flag, but a flag with provenance can be worth 10 times the value of a flag without provenance. So the, the story is very often as valuable as the item itself. That's right. And we'll be talking a little bit more about that in one of our upcoming segments here. But coming up next, stay tuned, don't go anywhere, Neil Leaders, our resident gun expert and consultant. He is one of our employees, will be our guest coming up next after the break. He's going to talk to us, talk to you about what you need to do to legally consign firearms. What do you do with a firearm collection when someone passes away? How do you avoid the people who are coming to your house knocking on the door saying they're going to help you? They may or may not be doing that. But like I always like to say, right, Randy, we're your guys when your husband dies. I know, I know I hate to say you know, that, yeah. but I do like to say that, <laughs> yeah, actually. That's a phrase that we, we always bantered about at the, at the auction hall. And uh, I was always concerned about people finding that offensive. And as we have mentioned that to many, many widows, uh, not only do they, they laugh and, and find it uh, amusing, but more importantly, they said, no, that's actually extremely accurate. Right. Um, when when people do pass away, it 
it creates a terrible burden on the rest of the family, what to do with things. And especially, especially widows. They are so often left with, oh, my God, now what? How do I handle these things? And they don't always necessarily have a family member that can step in and, and take over. And so we will be that person for you. So all kidding aside, it, it's not a slang term that we use. It's it's very serious. Right. We want to be there when you need the help the most. And we're your guys when your husband dies. Uh, again, we just want to not take this lightly, but we are here to help and offer our services. So ladies, pay attention. Our phone number is what? 815 815- Nine two three seven thousand. Just give us a call. We'll give you the right direction. You are listening to the Donley Auctions Hour right here on AM five sixty. The Answer. Stay tuned. Neil Leaders, our resident gun expert, coming up next. They've been called auctioneers of antiques, collectors of cool, even veterans of vintage. And they can introduce themselves. Thanks for listening. This is the Donnelly Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. Welcome back to the Donnelly Auctions Hour. I'm Susan, and this is... Randy Donnelly. With Donnelly Auctions. You know, we're located just 60 miles west of Chicago in Union, Illinois. We are out in the country, folks. We're not that far away. Um, But we want to make sure everybody knows where we're located. We are here for you. And today we're talking about firearms and military memorabilia. So stay tuned. On the phone with us now is our guest today. His name is Neil Leaders, our resident gun expert and consultant that works for our company. You know what else he is? An ATF compliance expert as well. So he makes sure we toe the line and make sure everything is legal. Uh, what do you have to say about that, Neil? Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. I appreciate being here. How are you guys doing? We're, we're great. We're so happy you are part of our team, a very integral part of our firearm business. Uh, tell thank us a little you. bit about your background. Wait, wait. I have to interrupt right okay, there. Oh, okay. We... I'm Uh-oh. sorry. <laughs> uh, Neil, I just heard your voice on the radio. Uh, and. Uh, we're canceling this segment right now. Uh, <laughs> we're going to replace you, Randy, with you, you, the guy with a better voice. You sound too good, uh, yeah. especially when I'm at my worst. But, Neil, uh, thank you so much for coming on today. <laughs> well, you should I'm see what he looks here. like, too. Woo! Yeah, the face, and the face and the voice for radio. They all match, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the serial number of a gun in a stock. So tell us there a little bit go. about your background, Neil. Uh, I've got about 17, 18 years of experience in retail um, firearm industry. I've been a sales manager, a purchasing manager. I also appraise antique and historical firearms for insurance and retail sale. Wow. You're, we're so glad you're part of our team, that's for sure. Our, well, our firearm you. business is, is booming. It, it really is. And, uh, and Neil, you're a big part of that. So well, thank you. Uh, what we want um, our, our guests, our listeners today to, to know is actually – how easy the process is for them to consign guns to auction. Right. Oh, it's so easy. It's so easy. Um, Neil, so what advice would you have for someone who is just paralyzed with fear? What do I do with this collection? You know what? It's really easy. Put them in a case, put them in your car, bring them on in. Um, auctions are the best way to get the most amount of money for your firearms. It's easy. Well, I'm, um, glad, you, I'm glad you mentioned that uh, statement right there. Put them in your car, bring them right in. Is that, in fact, uh, I want to always make sure uh, our listeners have talked to me so many times, Randy, I want to bring my guns out there. And I say, well, I'll come and get them. Um, uh, Tell them the legal way to transport weapons right now. So people are aware. I heard you say, put them in a case, put them in your car. So explain to them the legal process. The legal way is to put them in a case and make them inaccessible to the driver. So in a regular car, you put them in the trunk, in the SUV, you put them all the way back by the tailgate. Have your FOIA card with you and come on down. Um, We do all the legal paperwork and you're all protected from it. Okay, so again, if somebody got stopped for whatever reason and the police found guns in their car, the fact that they're, they're going from their home to our FFL, everything is legal. 
Absolutely. Yeah, we don't want people yeah. stopping at the local bar on the way in. <laughs> preferably, no. preferably not, no. Preferably not. Um, we also would like to mention to make yeah. an appointment with us, because I do want to make sure that our customers are meeting with you, Neil. First thing, you are the yeah. face of that and can explain everything about what they have and what the next steps are. Absolutely. I'm here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. 99.9% of the time, I'm here. So. Yes. Yeah, but I still yeah. recommend give a quick phone call just to make sure I haven't had to go out to the field or something like that or I didn't go to lunch or something. Come on down. And, right, because um, we'll even send you out. I'll talk to them with you. We'll even send you out to their homes so that oh, they're sure. comfortable talking sure. with someone who can talk the talk. And also uh, point out, we'll come to your home with no obligation. If you want us to come and assess your collection, uh, before you make a decision how you want to handle your collection, this is at no cost, no obligation to you. Absolutely. But, uh, uh, Neil, I, I mentioned earlier that um, we've got the February auction coming up. Um, anything really interesting in that auction that we want to uh, tell our audience? I've got some neat guns. I've got a, uh, a Luger Navy carbine from Germany, uh, World War II. I've got a Luger Black Widow, which was carried by the SS. It's Neat stuff. I've got a Parker Brothers 28 gauge, gorgeous gun. Parker Brothers Beautiful shotgun. Condition yeah. in the case, yeah. Um, got an old German transition gun. When they were passing the laws for uh, registration, they were developing guns. Everybody carried little bitty pocket guns back then. And they developed this gun to basically scare away the bad guy. What's weird about it is the original round still chambers. So it's very unusual. And honestly, a little crazy, but it's a neat part of history, neat part of German history. Well, it also makes it rare and unusual, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. It's That's neat right. Stuff. These are items that will be in our February 18th auction. Mark your calendars. The auction yes. will be online by next week at the latest. So all you need to do is go to Donley Auctions with an S dot com, com. You'll be able to see the catalog of all of the items that Neil is referring to. And how many guns do we have uh, coming up in this auction? Um, right about 400, give or take. Okay, good. Mostly yeah. handguns, it sounds like. Mostly handguns. Okay. Um, don't forget about the ammo and accessories and stuff like that. We'll right. have all that on tables, too. Good stuff. And then can you give us a little bit of education, Neil, about the difference between vintage and antique firearms? And do we have any modern stuff coming up in February? Absolutely. Um, vintage more or less refers to the CNR stuff. The CNR, CNR, is CNR being what? Explain to our audience what a yeah, CNR means. Yeah, of course. Um, CNR is collectors and relics. Um, that's anything dated, manufactured before 1972. So that if you have a special CNR license, you can buy it outright. Um, antique refers back to any firearm that's uh, made before 1898. Um whether the whether it's black powder or even some rimfire conventional ammo that is uh, no longer manufactured in the U.S., so that falls under the antique, and anybody can buy those legally. So huh. we have some vintage and antique firearms coming up in yeah. February. Any modern? Anything we modern? We have a lot. Um, we've gotten okay. in a couple great collections of modern stuff, mostly handguns, but we do have hunting rifles and shotguns also. You know, and I'd like to point this out. You know, there's so many people today that are anti-firearm. Uh, you know, it's it's um, a sad state of affairs that we're in right now. Uh, the country is really torn over this subject. But one thing that the audience that might be anti-gun needs to know is that the beauty of either selling to or through Donley Auctions or purchasing from Donley Auctions is the fact that everything is done legally. All the paperwork is done, state and federal paperwork, and guns that might have been in collections in homes for years and years, not necessarily ever um, registered by serial number, now once they come through the Donley auction process, they are actually part of the federal uh, data bank system. So in, in a sense, running your guns through auction almost um, legalizes them or washes the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the serial numbers in that 
we know they're not stolen firearms, and everything is, again, above board, correct? Absolutely. That's the beautiful part about bringing it here. I do all the paperwork. I do all the selling. I do all the transferring. I do all the background checks on anybody who's coming in to buy them. Everything's on the up and up. It's all on top of the board, and everybody can see what's happening. Wow. So I think uh, Neil needs a race, Randy. <laughs> needs, I wouldn't I need, argue. Look at it. <laughs> listen, listen to that resume. Wow, Neil. Thank you so much. Very, very good informative information. Again, if anyone has a question about one gun or a thousand guns, give us a call at 815 815- Nine two three seven thousand. Ask for Neil. He'll be happy. Yeah, he's always here. He'd be happy to answer any questions. He's a man of lots of knowledge. That is for sure. We're glad to have you on board with us, Neil. And um, we'll we'll be coming back on our next episode to talk about uh, how guns have gone up in value. Which the answer is always yes on that. Always. Uh, But Neil, thank you for joining us today. Go to DonleyAuctions.com. That's D-O-N-L-E-Y, auctions with an S. Or give us a call at 815-923-7000 for more information. One quick fun fact for you to come back to in our next segment. What do you think is the most sought-after rifle and what was the most expensive gun ever sold at auction? Do you have the answer for that? Stay tuned. Coming up and Coming up next... You're listening to the Donley Auctions Hour here every Saturday at 1 o'clock on AM560, The Answer. You're listening to the Donley Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. Welcome back to the Donley Auctions Hour. I'm Susan. This is Randy Donley. We're both with Donley Auctions. We are partners in the company out in Union, Illinois. We're here today to talk about our firearms and military auction we have coming up. But first of all, I want to thank Neil for explaining the process of consigning firearms to auction. Uh, Randy, did you have anything to add to... Uh, yeah, I'm still uh, we, complaining about his good voice on the, the radio. <laughs> He's got We're a great gonna voice. We're going to have the, the Neil hour soon enough. We might just have uh, <laughs> Neil back again to talk. We have a lot to talk about with firearms and the new laws and regulations in the state of Illinois. I'm sure that would be a nice heated discussion for many of you out there. So again, if you have any questions, give us a call at 815-923-7000. But let's get back to the questions that I asked in the last segment. Do you remember what they were? Uh, wh- what is the most sought-after rifle? Well, any guesses, Randy? But you can't look at your cheat sheet. Well, that's it. Unfortunately, I have the <laughs> cheat sheet here, so I, I do I'll know. I'll just tell everybody. It's the Winchester, one of 100 model, 1873. It was estimated between 275 to $375,000. It sold at auction for... Eight hundred and five thousand dollars. Who yeah. has a Winchester one of one hundred in their basement? Go look now. And that's it. These things do show up. You never uh, know. You know, and the original cost on that gun. You talk about items going up in value. The original cost of that gun was only twenty to fifty dollars when it was new. Right, and that's that was back in eighteen seventy three. So the increase of value of guns is still holding people. Uh, talk to us about what you have. That's why we have Neil on our staff to give it to you straight. He'll tell you the value. He knows the stuff inside and out. Uh, We also um, know that as soon as you buy a new firearm, as you know, it depreciates like a car, right? About 15%. Right. But uh, I I think the the initial... Uh, loss of value is only about 15% when when you buy a, a firearm brand new. And after that, they hold their value pretty darn good they for sure the next do. 10 years or so. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's, so a it's, good, it's actually a good investment. Better investment than a car, that's for sure, unless it's a 69 Camaro. If anyone happens to have one out there for me, let me know. <laughs> Susan's I'm still in the market up. for a red 69 Camaro with a black convert top. But anyway, the second question was... What is the most expensive gun that ever sold at auction of all time? This is my favorite so far that we've been uh, talking about with firearms. It is the Colt revolver that was used to kill Billy the Kid in 1881. Can you believe that? It was estimated originally 
at auction in uh, 2021, between two to three million dollars, and that sold for six point uh, no six six million point oh three. So just a little over six million dollars. Six million dollars for a gun that is now in a private collection. But keep in mind this firearm had no distinctive attributes at all. If you Google it, look it up, it's just a revolver. It's nothing well, special. And Susan, that's exactly why we talk about provenance. Right. Cause this... Provenance, provenance, provenance. Yes. This is a gun, uh, an old Colt, that on its own, without the provenance, would probably have been twelve to $1,500. I don't see much more than that. Right. In, it in had gun. no engraving. No special grips, no mother of pearl, no ivory, nothing. Nothing to give you an idea of its value whatsoever. So, again, we want to keep pounding in everybody. Provenance is so important, and that's the reason this gun sold for so much at auction. And provenance can start with you. So often people say to me, oh, Randy, no, you know, uh, my father picked this up. My father found it. He told me this. Well, you still have to write that down. Write it down, type it up, do whatever, get it notarized, because somebody has to start the provenance chain. If it's no more than I was told by, um, what, whatever you have, make sure you document it. That's right. Again, the meaning and importance of provenance, that's for sure. Now, I want to remind you again about our upcoming auction. For those listeners just joining us, welcome to the Donnelly Auctions Hour, by the way. February 18th and 19th, it is still t- there's still time to consign with us. Again, very simple process. Basically, pick up the phone, give us a call, or email us. It's, it's, we want to just keep it simple. It can be very overwhelming for, for people who don't know what to do next. Donnelly Auctions is here to help you, but, you know, mostly we're not just here to help. We're here to become your partner. And don't just give us stuff. We are partners with you. We treat your items as if they're our very own your success is our success. That's right. Everybody wins. You know, Susan, we were just talking about some interesting uh, firearms. And um, during our research, you know, before this show, we came up with a very interesting story about uh, the Lewis and Clark air gun. The expedition. Uh, and what year was that? Uh, back in uh, 1778 mm-hmm. when they uh, they came and they actually surveyed uh, the, the United States. So... Uh, uh, when we come back uh, from from break, I'd like to just talk a little bit yeah. about that. Touch a little bit on history about the Lewis and Clark expedition. That'd be great. We're also going to talk in our next episode. Stay with us. We're going to talk about military relics. And if you have any of those in your family, in the attic, in the basement, in the trunk, um, like a footlocker, we need to know what you have. And I would love to hear your stories. Does anyone have an interesting story about any provenance in your family? Give us a call at 815 815- Nine two three seven thousand. You can email us at donleyauctions at outlook dot com. That's D O N L E Y auctions. Join us after the break to find out if you have anything worth something today. You're listening to Donley Auctions Hour every Saturday at one o'clock on AM five sixty. The answer. And now more of the Donley Auctions Hour on AM five sixty. The answer. We're back with the Don Lee Auctions Hour. Thanks for sticking with us during that break. Randy was in the middle of a story. We want to finish that up about the Lewis and Clark expedition. So here's a little history information well, for you. I just find it interesting that that they actually carried an air gun. Uh, I, I would have never believed that an air gun would have ever been used in any capacity to me other than a toy. And here I'm reading all about this Lewis and Clark air gun, how important it was. This gun required 800 pounds of pressure uh, to operate. Right. I read that it that equals 1,500 cranks or pumps. Pumps from the— 1,500 had a, pumps. It had a special air pump that uh, was required to, to pump this the air into this gun. And then you could fire uh, uh, up to 20, uh, 20 shots— Or 20 rounds without repumping it. Right, and they could hold it vertically instead of having to stand it up horizontally. Uh, In order to load it. In order to load it and shoot it, yeah. Just uh, an incredible, incredible weapon. And one very important thing is it was used as a weapon of intimidation uh, more than uh, a defense. And, in fact, during the entire uh, 
an entire uh, uh, Lewis and Clark expedition, it was never shot at anybody. It was not used, you know, as a self-defense weapon. Right. They were so impressed by this wonder of a firearm, of yeah. a rifle, that they were not only impressed, but also intimidated. And that's really how they were able to get through the villages and get out of there safe and sound. Right. Right. They had that in their pocket. Interesting. Interesting. Good, good stuff. Yeah. So if anyone has any Lewis and Clark memorabilia, give us a call. We're going to be talking about military relics, especially helmets, uniforms, insignia, anything you might have with some great provenance. Uh, what do you want to talk about with that, Randy? Because we do have that auction well, coming up I, I February like to, 19th. I like to point this out all the time. Consigners come to us from all different areas, different, uh, you know, uh, ways, shapes, or forms as to how we acquire things. And over the years, uh, Donley Auctions has sold off um, actual cannons, uh, you know, tanks, uh, military pieces, uh, field pieces, vehicles, and everything. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got these items in your basement, but you could be a, a city manager or um, involved in a municipality that could have uh, cannons or monuments or vehicles um, that have been taken out of parks and just in storage right now. Who knows what's sitting around the, the city and suburbs in in storage facilities uh, that you'd like to sell off. Uh, we've sold items successfully for VFW halls and and so on where items out in the yard actually became an attractive nuisance for insurance, you know, where kids were climbing on vehicles and stuff and getting hurt. So unfortunately, over the years, they've had to remove a lot of these things from parks. Where'd they all end up? There's still a lot of stuff out there to be found. So if you are involved in in any uh, cities, municipalities or halls or anything and might have items that you know of, again, give us a call. That's right. You don't have to look at items just in your house or your garage, or your basement. As you're driving past the park, look for that cannon out in the yard and, and see if it's anything that, uh, you know, we could sell for you at Donnelly Auctions. Well, Randy, are these it, items... Wait a second, Susan. If it's still in the park, oh, can't, no. can't we, take it. No, don't, don't take it. We don't want to know about it. No. <laughs> you have to ask if they work for the... The yeah. mean, if they work for the park right, district, yeah, right, you can right. check don't, with them don't first. Don't confuse anybody <laughs> if it's already still on display. Don't steal anything, everybody. Please don't, no. Uh, <laughs> are these items worth anything? Oh, my goodness, uh, Susan. Uh, you know, the things that are, are very often found in storage, you know, some of these uh, military uh, cannons and, and tanks can literally be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. So what are people doing with it now? Are they selling it as scrap value or Well, that's what happens all too it? often. Uh, you know, we find all the time, especially some of these uh, beautiful statues that have recently been taken out of parks. Uh, there's collectors for that. And just because it might be uh, offensive in, in a city park nowadays does not mean it's offensive in a private collection. And loads of these things are now getting scrapped for scrap metal instead of being sold off as the, the art that they are and, you know, what they were intended to mean to begin with. That's right. And we do very well with military memorabilia, helmets, uniforms, insignia. Again, give us a call down the auctions. We're here to help at 815-923-7000. You can email us at donleyauctions at outlook.com. That's D-O-N-L-E-Y auctions with an S at outlook.com. We'll be happy to give you some direction on whatever you may find. You never know. Uh, coming up next, it, again, not too late to consign to some of our upcoming auctions. We want to give you an idea of what's coming up in March and April. Some great stuff. Anything else you want to add, Randy? Well, right. You know, today we're we're here obviously talking about, you know, guns and military, when in reality we need to remind everybody of the scope of items that we take. I mean, we're always looking. Uh, right after we leave the show today, we're on our way to Milwaukee uh, to pick up an antique phonograph collection up in Milwaukee from a private collector. Large, large collection that we'll have coming up at auction. So, um Again, even though we're talking about uh, guns and firearms today, remember, we're always looking for coin-operated uh, machines, old gambling items, all kinds of fun stuff. That's right. Coming up next, we'll talk a little bit more about 
the schedule for February and March. So you can mark your calendars. Again, I get asked a lot, where do you guys get all this stuff when people come into our hall? Where do you get all this? We don't own any of that. People call us. We go pick it up. They're in contact with Randy or any of our other staff members and our consultants. Anybody can be a consigner, and you can too. This is the year, 2023, to start downsizing. Coming up, stay tuned. We're going to talk more about that. You're listening to the Donley Auctions Hour on AM 560, The Answer. The Donley Auctions Hour continues now on AM 560, The Answer. We are back with the Donley Auctions Hour. I'm Susan here with Randy Donley. We're partners with Donley Auctions in Union, Illinois. We've been talking today about firearms, military memorabilia, some of the upcoming auctions we have, and what you may have in your house that is that could be valuable today. Everybody's got something, right, Randy? Well, they sure do, you know. And uh, again, so many things coming up. Uh, actually, today we have an auction, an online auction of Native American collection that's uh, that's taking place as we're as we speak. As we it's sp- probably halfway over by now, but there's a lot of great stuff in this auction. I think about 600 lots or so. Go to DonleyAuctions.com. Click on the Old West. Native American auction button, take you right to the auction, get your bids in right away if you're interested, some great saddles and furniture for your log cabin you might have out there. Oh, it's it's really a, a very interesting grouping. But um, uh, again, if you go to Donnelly Auctions, you can see that auction live or uh, uh, online uh, at this time. And we've got a, a great political collection coming up. And I'm talking whether it be posters or political buttons or, or just all kinds of fun stuff from the turn of the century. Um, we do have a a political collection in house that we are putting an auction together for. So again, if you've got political items that uh, you've collected up over the years and would like to consign, uh, that's right. Let us know because we haven't set a date for that yet. So we're going to hope to get some more interesting items to add to it. So if you do have anything, never too late. Give us a call at eight one five nine two three seven thousand. Tell us what you got. You know, antique phonographs and music boxes and radios have always been um, a go-to for the Donnelly Auction Company. And as I said, we're going to be leaving here now to go to uh, Milwaukee to pick up a a large collection of antique phonographs. So again, if you've got anything that is musically related, antique music of any kind, uh, let us know what you have. Uh, Although we did have the Beatles auction on January 14th. And I tell you, I wanted to bid on some of those vinyl records, but they, you know, sold very well. And I still think a lot of vintage records are selling pretty good nowadays. So we'll have to check and see what you have, if it's something we can uh, sell for you. But antiques, I think, is the way we're going to go coming up in March. You got it. And license plates uh, has become a real mainstay for us. We've got more license plate collections coming up. And that's uh, March 12th. And in April, our April Classic, coin-operated music machines, arcade, gambling, architecture. If you know of any old antique bars and back bars, uh, we sell them like crazy. We sell antique cars, petroleana, porcelain signs, gas pumps. That's all coming up in April. So if you have any of these type of things and would like to get them to us, uh, before April, let us know as soon as you can. I believe that auction is the end of April, and we partner with the Chicagoland Coin Op Show in Grays Lake. Yep. So that one's the end of April. Then we do the same thing again in November. So twice a year, our biggest auctions of the year. You know, Neil Leaders was our guest today, and he's our gun expert, and he will be set up uh, at a gun show this weekend. That's Tell right. Them about Neil that. is going to be at the Lake County Gun and Sportsman Show this Sunday, January 29th in Antioch. Stop by the booth to say hi to Neil. Uh, say, Tell him you heard us on the radio on the Donley Auctions Hour. We'd love to chat with you. Uh, for now, I'm Susan. And I'm Randy Donley. And we will see you at the auction. We hope you return to the Donley Auctions Hour next Saturday at 1 o'clock. We're on AM 560, The Answer. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to the Donnelly Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer.
Check out all the latest information on upcoming auctions and collectibles at DonnellyAuctions.com. And while you're there, you can contact someone about buying or selling your collectibles or estates. That's DonnellyAuctions.com. 